Good morning, Okoe Region. Hey, it's Tony Miles again. We are back with a segment of Hidden Gems of Okoe Region. And guess what? You know what I'm going to say. I am so excited. I am so excited. I got two of my favorite people in the whole wide world here today. And these are powerful. Come on, women. I, women, come on. Turn it up. Listen to this. I got two powerful women of God on this show today. And these are people you should know about. You should know about their ministries. And it's going to be a powerful segment. So for the next hour, I want you to stay with me because you're going to meet and learn about two great women who are doing great things in the kingdom. So first up on deck is my good friend, my sister, my, what I want to say, go-to person. <laughs> and I affectionately call her Julie G, That's right. but her name is Julie Giordano, and she is here, and she is going to be talking about herself and her ministry, mm -hmm. and I just want to say welcome. I've been trying to get you on the show, <laughs> and I'm glad finally God released me to say it's time. Oh, well, it's <laughs> wonderful to be here, and I thank you so much, uh, Tony, again, that we are dear friends and dear sisters in the Lord, and uh, and we fan each other, the call of God on each other's lives. So yes. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. And I love that. Fan. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love That's it. Right. I love it. I love it. Well, I want people to, before we get into Julie G Ministries, let's talk about you. Okay. Because I want people to, to get to know the person that God has divinely connected me to and and know you as the person and then we'll talk about your okay. ministry so why don't you tell the Okoe region who you are uh well it's a um it's an honor to be here like I said and uh, and, and to be in Cleveland Tennessee yes. because I've been living here five years actually next week will be five years that I've been here, and I'm originally from Lake Charles, Louisiana, so uh -huh. I'm a Louisiana girl. <laughs> and Love uh, it. That's right. Get my slang will be. Uh, Come on, I, I try to hold it sense. back. So. No, don't hold it back. <laughs> bring it on in. <laughs> you have to watch it. If I get really excited, it'll come out. And uh, but anyway, uh, my story has uh, has been a difficult journey, and uh, but again, you know, it's been one of those. Um, pain to passion stories and uh, yes, I so I that. am from uh, Louisiana and mm -hmm. uh, and that's been my story there I'm uh, have three amazing children yes you and do. Uh, and so they are uh, just really taught you, you know, they teach you a lot about life you know mm -hmm. when you go through your your story and through your journey but um, but through it all like being through major traumas in my life my my story started out hard early uh, mm -hmm. with abuse and uh, by my biological father mm -hmm. and uh, and all different types of abuse whether it was verbal whether it was emotional and sexual and um, and so that was someone that you know you didn't tell the story and you went through many many um, struggles in your mind your your body your your yes. fighting through it yes you know? but um, but I'm so thankful that the Lord came in my life early and yes. um, and he just really drew me in to the to the church and where I accepted the Lord in seventh grade amen and so that I'm such a uh, an advocate of those finding Christ at an early, early age, age because their stories are already developing through their life everybody has a story you mm -hmm. know there's no perfect family you right. know but um, so anyway, so God really came in my life and really changed and rearranged things in my life. And for a long time, the abuse had not stopped. So it was from 5 to 15 that it was, you know, the worst uh, mm -hmm. part of it. And uh, but so uh, I learned to lean on him even when things weren't changing. Yes. And when he began to teach me how to speak to my situation and uh, and began to do that as a young girl, where I really didn't even have an understanding Standing of what, of what that was. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah, no idea, yeah. you know, but um, but it's been uh, that journey of in 
that he kept my mind, you know, mm. and uh, and I think that's one of the biggest part of it is that he is a keeper, and even through the storms, that he's keeping your mind and and strengthening you and empower you to get through it. Sometimes it's a rescue, and it's going to take you out of it. Yes, and uh, and for whatever reason, that wasn't my story of just a. He's always a rescuer. I mean, he's faithful to be yes. a rescuer, yes. you know. But in my story, when that's what I just wanted, and uh, and after a process of time and healing and forgiveness in the middle of it come on you know because the 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 struggle with unforgiveness and even hatred come on in that situation is real and everyone has a right to feel that when you're in the middle of being abused and it's not right yeah. you know but when you're but it's killing you because it's a poison you yes, know that unforgiveness and it was it was killing me mm-hmm. and um, so um, so anyway, so through that process, I had two aunts and a sister that really poured into me and was trying to help me. They knew my story. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so they were really helping me and praying and having a breakthrough. And, uh, but I'm, I'm really a passion about this. A breakthrough is for a moment, but a revelation is for a lifetime. Come on. And so in the revelation that the Lord said, I'm not going to rescue you just to rescue you, you yes. know, because I am a rescuer, you know, but I've come to empower you because if I rescue you, I rescue one. But if I empower you, we can change a generation. Come on. And so at 15, that didn't mean anything to me. <laughs> yeah, great. Wonderful. What, what, Whatever what you that saying, means. Lord? What exactly. you talking about? <laughs> and... Uh, but anyway, as I look back over my life, that revelation has carried me. And he continues to give you more wisdom and revelation yeah. of what happened in that moment because it's carried me through my storm mm-hmm. and uh, and where I really was able to walk in victory and, and walk in forgiveness and walk in healing and the layers of healing because yes. you, you deal with it in different seasons of your life. You know, those, those feelings are... You know, they wake up and They're pain there. wakes up pain. Yes. It, th- it doesn't categorize it in your mind and in your body. So whatever pain or trauma that you're going through or struggle, yes. it, it's really good in being careful that it'll wake it all up. You mm-hmm. know, so you're going through one tragedy and then all of a sudden you're having issues in the other. So there's a, it's a perpetual layer of healing and restoration. Yes. So I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. And that's been my biggest story, how he's kept me brought me through and given me wisdom to continue to walk in victory and not just a survivor. I won't say anybody can survive because sometimes the enemy will be glad to take you out. Oh, you yeah. know, all the way. And uh, so, but there's so much more of just trusting him and walking in a true victory and then reaching back and helping others. Cause yeah. it's not just about me and my story. It's always about someone else and just trying to help them. And that's just been a passion of mine. So. Oh yeah. Well, um, your story is one of those stories that is really happens to a lot right. of, and I won't just say young women, it happens right. to young right. boys. Um, where I sit in my community at the Caring Place, um, I am aware of of a lot of these situations. Right, right. And so that's one of the reasons I wanted to have you on tonight, uh, mm-hmm. on today, is because I want to get the word out there. You're not alone. Right. You know? Right. And that people are calling people, because it used to be you kept it hidden. Right. But now God is calling people to speak about this, the right. unspeakable. Let right. me say it that that's way. Right. To speak about the unspeakable. So mm-hmm. that, as you said, so that we can help one another. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, of course, then bring along other people who can step in to learn to forgive. Right. Learn to, because all of that just keeps them locked into mm-hmm. that situation. Right. And so for them to experience true freedom, they have to be able to forgive. Amen. And so, but before we go on, I want to talk about, because you, you're a mom and you mentioned that and you have three kids, so I want you to talk about <laughs> your kids. You're also a ministry leader at Dwelling Place Church yes. International. Uh, I would love for you to speak about okay. that. You know, people already know I'm biased there because <laughs> that's my church. Those that's are my right. pastors. That's right. So we're going to talk about that as well. And uh, then after that, we'll talk about you've been the founder of Julie G Ministries. Okay. But 
Come on, talk about your children. That's how, well, I, I, I love to shout and uh, <laughs> celebrate my babies, that's for sure. And uh, and they're all grown up, just yes. about, I'm telling you. Uh, my youngest is going to be 25 uh, yes. next month. And then I have an and adopted you look child. you good, girl. <laughs> Uh, well, he's been good, so I'm <laughs> thankful. But um, and then we have um, a, an adopted son that yes. he uh, just turned 26, and then my oldest son is 30, oh, wow. and so that's Gino, Ernest, and then Jade, yeah. and uh, and that's a story all in itself. You know, yeah, it because, is. You should probably yeah, share yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, they're just beautiful babies, and they're all so different. They're yes. just radically different. My oldest, Gino, he's the the uh, the one that's going to run after it all, and and he is just like, he's the, the freestyle, you yes. know, and he's just going to, you know, do that. And we've just been praying for him. And he has, he's just so gifted in so oh, many yeah. ways and been through many, many storms, even, you know, with us losing Gavin, my, uh, our second child at two and a half years old. And Gino was four during that time. And yes. we lost Gavin due to a burn. And so that kind of started a lot in my married life. And, um, and so that trauma alone um, like I always say is that um, you're not equipped and you're not born to deal with that type of pain. Nope. It's not nope. in you naturally. No. Nope. And so it's so supernatural to, to you have to lean on the Lord because That's I don't right. know how you do it in the natural. There's not enough medicine. There's not enough depression or anxiety medicine to get you through. No, it isn't. Because, you know, but it's truly to a, a real healing and getting on the other side and, um, and where it's not just about you, you have, I had a four-year-old little eyes looking at me and saying, Mama, you can't check out on me. I need you. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. been a real passion with Gino because that has been our story. He started early, yeah. you know, with him. But um, he is, he is amazing. I mean, he's just going to go <laughs> after it. He's going to run after it. And so I just love it. And we're, you know, fanning and, and believing great things for, for him. him. He yes, has sir. that entrepreneur spirit. So. Yeah. Anyway, and I love his passion. And then uh, we met Ernest uh, when he was eight, turning nine, and we were real big into track. And my oldest son, Gino, was super fast. And so we were doing a lot of summer track and traveling and doing a lot of things like that. So my husband at the time was re recruiting. Um, mm -hmm. And he that's not what he did for a living, but that's what he did with passion on the right. side. And he was recruiting young kids to run on this track team. And so Ernest, of course, was the fastest. And so we're <laughs> recruiting him. And, uh, and his grandmother was raising him. His mother was in town but she wasn't raising him and uh and so anyway so we asked if he could run on the team and they said yes and uh but you know like you're gonna have to like come pick him up every day for practice and you you know we don't have <laughs> the, you know the finances and and that was understandable right. I mean, you're, right. you're dealing it's very very pricey and so uh johnny said absolutely we'll pay for everything and julie will pick him up every day for practice and that's what it, so he just became a part of our life and uh, and then he was just you know staying longer and longer and longer and we just loved him and he was amazing Amazing, and uh, so anyway, so all his grandmother ended up passing, and we ended up raising him, and uh, and now he went on to play college ball, and and he's graduated and married now, and, and you got phenomenal. to marry him. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so we love he and Jillian, and so I have a new daughter-in-law, and so that's wonderful, and it's such a great journey yes. of what they're doing, and he's also working um, with my ex-husband um, Johnny, and uh, is going to be taking over the family business. So I anyway, love so. That's yeah. wonderful. Yes. And then we have my baby girl Jade, and yes. uh, and so she's so anointed, so gifted, and uh, she came after. Uh, you know, she Gavin. was born after Gavin. So yes. there was lots of emotion, a lot of, you know, she brought a lot of peace in our yes. home because it was Won't very painful. God do it, though? Right, that's right. He will do it and every time. Every time. And so in her, just her spirit, her heart, and we all needed it. You know, we was mm -hmm. all in such... Um, you know, heavy, heavy grief. Mm -hmm. And so it was a light load at home, you yes. know, just having her come into it. And so God has had a, an anointing and a calling on her life. And um, and so she has a brand new album out and she's come the on. worship I'll leader at Dwelling Place Church. And so it's I Will Dwell. Um, yes. Um, uh, no, I Will Dwell is I Will Declare is the album, album. but but uh, she is the worship leader at Dwelling Place Church International. We and, When Pastor Jamie was on my first show, 
We played her yeah, yeah. CD. Absolutely. And I've got to get her on here. Yes, yes. Okay. But, we're excited. Uh, yeah, so, we're really excited. But I love too. it about uh, Jay, which is so sweet. Um, she has such a really sweet and uh, authentic personality. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, she has a word. And, uh, oh God, and she's so, powerful. and she, she fell in love with the Lord at an early age and it became real. It became her own relationship. Mm-hmm. It was no longer mom or dad's or right. the she's, youth pastor or the pastor or whatever. It became her own. Yeah. And when she went through her own storms with, of our divorce after 24 years, yeah. um, which was extremely painful for, for everyone, but she, she applied everything she had been learning and she had to put it to the test, yes. you know, yes. and God really increased the anointing through that storm and really began to birth a song in her heart mm-hmm. and a passion. And um, so anyway, so she's even stepping out teaching now and, yes, uh, and of course leading worship. And um, so anyway, so we're excited. She's, she lives with me here in Cleveland, Cleveland Tennessee. Tennessee. So it's and she's a, a Lee graduate, y'all. Yeah, yeah, she's a Lee, Lee graduate. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Lee was good to her and uh, Lee University yeah. and they were really a blessing to her. And she had many open doors there. So we're thankful for that. Well, before, just real quickly, tell the uh, hidden uh, uh, gems uh, of a Koei region audience uh, what you do at Dwelling Place, and then right after this we'll uh, go to a commercial. Okay, But perfect. go ahead and tell them what you do at Dwelling Place. Uh, it's an honor to, to be here. I moved here to be a part of... Um, just the ministry. I, I was coming a part of Pastor Judy's uh, mentoring program, mm-hmm. Judy Jacobs. Um, you know, it's just a powerful, powerful mentoring program that she has uh, with the international. You know, just just it changed my life. You know, yeah. just coming into the you know, IOM. And when I came here, that's just how I got here. And uh, and so we just wanted to come be a part of the church and just a part of the vision. And I'd never moved out of Louisiana ever. <laughs> and so this was the first big jump for me. And um, and so anyway, so it was just the anointing is so sweet there. And lives are being changed. And there's just such a fire, you know, of uh, just a hunger and just a fresh word. And so, um, you know, just starting in January, um, I was offered the position of the director of ministries. Yes, ma'am. And so just overarching, there's multiple ministries. We have Pastor Judy's ministry. Ministry with his song, right. uh, ministries that I L I O M uh, with the International Institute of mentoring. mentoring, and then we have Dwelling Place Church, and then of course the Dwelling the Studios, right? Yeah. So I just kind of overarch, I touch a lot of different things, and really just being a part of just helping grow in the ministries and and being a part of all of the different ministries, and so um, it's a big role, a big opportunity, and such a blessing. And working with Pastor Judy and Pastor Jamie, uh, running with them, assisting them in everything, and uh, we have a great church, a great family, you know, and it's just lives are being radically changed. And so it's an honor to be there. Well, and I also want to say that you are also the minister of uh, women's ministry, yes, which yes. is uh, uh, Awaken. Awaken. And so, and that, that theme, Awaken, is going <laughs> on, and people put it together yeah. today uh, as, as I continue to do these interviews with these powerful women. But I just want to say real okay. quickly, uh, um, hopefully my audience has made the connection that the uh, you and I, you came here, you're going on five years. Right. I'm now four and a half right. years, and we all got connected in the International Institute of that's Mentoring, right. which, uh, Pastor Judy, that's a focus on women, Right. and I'm telling you, as Julie said, it changed her life, mm-hmm. it changed my life, Right. and so women out there, if you're looking that's for right. an organization to get connected with mm-hmm. that will empower you, or you know you got something in your belly, mm-hmm. but you don't know exactly what it is. That is the place. Amen. I'm telling you, I walked in not, no, I knew God wanted me mm. to do something great for him, but I didn't know what. But I'm telling you, the day I walked into the International mm. Institute of Mentoring, I never forget after my one on one, Pastor Judy looked at me. She said, Before you leave this mm. weekend, you'll know what God. Wow. And I'm telling you, mm-hmm. when I left that weekend, I went back to Ohio excited because mm-hmm. I tapped in yeah. to what God was calling me That's to. That's right. 
So. Mr. Tony, one thing that I love about it when, when I first went there, and I think this is kind of my testimony about it, um, so many of us have a dream inside yeah. of us, and as we get older, we tend to more focus on our children and yes. not so much ourselves anymore. And uh, But when you get in that environment mm-hmm. of that radical faith yes, come that's on. there, yes. and I'm telling you, it'll wake up every dream on the inside that's of right. you. And you think, oh, my gosh, I haven't thought about writing that book in, in about five years, or I thought about or this even- in or I thought about this yes. or that. It doesn't matter where they're it's, uh, in dream the ministry. That you yes. Thought was dead. Yes. Well, it'll wake it up. It'll wake it when up. When you get in that environment, it wakes those dreams yes, up. It and does. even I brought Jade. She was a freshman at LSU. And so I brought Jade with me the second time. And she had been to amazing youth conferences all over. We've right. done that all of our lives. But she was said, I don't know what's here, but this is good, you know. <laughs> and so, and then, like, when I decided, I mean, I fasted and prayed, and the Lord said, move there. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have all my family. Have I lost my mind? Come and, on, Yes. Sister. And so, and Jay goes, you're not leaving me. She left LSU. Had never been on the campus at Lee. She said, wow. I just know there's something here, and I'm going. And so, wow. yeah. And so, and then Lee was phenomenal, you yes. know, just an amazing uh, opportunity for her to be there. And, uh, but yeah, it'll wake it up. And, uh, and, and that's what's so good about it. You want to yes. be a part of that. Well, I tell you what, we're going to go to commercial. Stay right there because we'll be right back and we're going to hear about Julie G ministry and how you can have this powerful woman come and speak to your women or just come speak to your church. And so when we come right back, we'll come back with Julie G ministries. Mm-hmm. What does the face of need look like? In so many ways, it looks like you and me. The Care in Place mission is to model the love of Christ by addressing basic spiritual, physical, and social needs of people in Bradley County, Tennessee. And the most important gift we distribute is love. Won't you help us to help our neighbors? Pray, give, volunteer. Quilts and the art of quilting have been enjoyed for generations. Hyder Hangout, Quilt Fabric and More in downtown Cleveland is all things quilts and much more. Hyder Hangout stocks a vast selection of beautiful fabrics from upholstery to evening wear and will special order hard to find items. Find all the accessories to make any project fun and easy. Hyder Hangout offers expert instruction with classes for the beginner and the advanced. Ready to show your style? Get to Hyder Hangout, Quilt Fabric and More, 219 First Street Northeast, downtown Cleveland. My name is Bill Kyle, owner of Kyle Motors. Our location is 802 20th Street Southeast, next door to Blythe Bauer School. We have a lot of cars for $5,000, $6,000. If you're looking for that price vehicle, come on in. We have all price vehicles, and our down payments start at $500. My name is Bill Kyle. We look forward to doing business with you. Good morning, and we're back. Uh, did you miss me? Well, I missed you guys. We are back with uh, uh, Julie Giordano, uh, fec- affectionately known as Julie G, and she is a founder of Julie G Ministries. And so right now we're going to talk about her ministry and um, um, what really, um, uh, uh, what birthed this ministry out of her. I think if you were with us in the first segment, you heard a lot of her story and you probably know why. But let's turn it over to Julie G and tell us about Julie G Ministries. Well, Julie G Ministries, um, I think I've been carrying in my spirit for a long time and really maybe didn't have a name to it, Mm -hmm. but I was carrying uh, a powerful 
uh, testimony of what God had done in my life. And I've been sharing it for many years, worked in youth ministry for 15 years, youth in college, and uh, then moved here to Cleveland and was working in women's ministry, which is just life-changing. I I love my women, too, and all my young people because I love purpose. And so so that really, really passionate about people walking in their purpose and their victory Mm -hmm. and giving God the glory for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so had been carrying this with me. I was working in sales, traveling the East Coast, and uh, and so I've been carrying this and not knowing when to jump. Like mm-hmm. kind of you run to the edge and look over, and then you're like, oh, I got to keep this going, and then I run to the edge and look over. You need to tell that story. Yes. Okay, because you will. know I know that story. Right. So go ahead. I don't so mean to I know. interrupt. So God had been giving me um, – and, and, and just kind of like forewarning me, that it's time for you to step out in full-time ministry. And, and you juggle that, you know, because I'm, I'm working, uh, making mm-hmm. a living, and how do I do that? That's maybe not promised income. What do I, how do I manage all of that? You right. Know, in the natural, you're <laughs> like, how do I do that? And um, so anyway, i had been processing that and praying about it and fleecing it five million times. <laughs> and, uh, and so anyway, so I get a call out of nowhere with my company wanting me to move back to Louisiana yes. to work. And, uh, but the Lord had given me that I was going to step out May 1st, uh, two, 2015, two years ago. Right. And, uh, and I kept you know, putting it off, putting it off. And, uh, and so when they called, they said, I want you to move back in May. You know, and uh, and I knew that my my season was not over here in Cleveland. That that it was just in the middle of it, and I'm just no way I want to leave. And uh, so I made that decision that I just said, this is my time to jump. It's either I believe it or I don't. <laughs> and, uh, so anyway, so I jumped and I told them no and walked away from a great income. Great, in- and, yes. Uh, and just trust the Lord and like either you're called or you're not. Either you believe it or you don't. And and so I've been on a two-year journey of, yes, you of have. buying in to this, um, what God has on the inside of me. Because, you know, first, before you can go and share it, you have to believe it. Now, I knew I had a calling. Right. But there's a whole different process of putting legs to it and walking it out. Yes. You know? Especially when you've been in the business sector for a long time and you're all about, you know, putting it Come together on. yourself. Self planning. <laughs> you know that God is with you, but, <laughs> but there's a totally different when you have to trust Him solely as your provider. Totally and dependent. It is. It is. Yes. It's a totally different uh, area. But, uh, but it's the best thing that I ever did is just jumping and trusting the Lord. And he has just uh, opened many, many opportunities for me to share my story and what he did mm-hmm. through me from the pain to the passion of trusting him and, and uh, bringing healing to many people along the way. So if I'm a women's organization or if I'm a church and would love to have you come in and speak and share your story with my congregation or with a women's ministry. How do we get in touch with you? Well, I have a website, jimgministries.tv, yes. 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 and uh, it has my testimony on it. It has my story, has, uh, of course, you know, uh, engagement, has some videos, some blog information, yes. uh, but it mainly uh, it shares a lot about what God has done in my life. And so um, always open for an opportunity. Um, and so that's just the best place to reach me uh, okay. on, on the website. Also has an email there with uh, Julie G Ministries at gmail.com. Yes. And also it has um, um, a tab there if you want to make a request. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, I would say right now, uh, uh, Okoe Region, that if you are definitely interested in having – and I'm going to say this, Pastor Julie G, <laughs> to come to uh, your um, uh, church or, or, or not even just that. Yeah. This story is even a marketplace story. Right, right. Come to your organization, your business, and share this. She, you mentioned, uh, Julie mentioned that she um, um, worked in the professional arena. Mm-hmm. So she is, I mean, she can do a business workshop, right. anything, because the principle she has learned That's right. is life sustaining Mm -hmm. and so it will work in any given situation okay pain the passion that's right come on that works period i don't care if you're walking in the marketplace or it's a a set uh, a church tradition or whatever but the point is it's about 
growing as a person and and being able to be the best who you are and be able to embrace your pain right so that you can heal right and become whole that's and, and that's, I don't, that's what it's about right what, there right there and so I don't care what you do or where mm-hmm. you are mm-hmm. um, you need to hear Julie G's story and you need to hear I mean she mentors so many women and not only with the Institute of Mentoring IIOM but she also does it I've watched her she personally takes (laughs) women on Mm -hmm. (laughs) and she has I impacted this city in such a great way that she doesn't even know mm-hmm. how much through her mentoring, through her example, the impact that she's making on women wow. and lives in this city. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say that to you because I watch you. you. Thank you. Okay? And I also know the impact you have also made on my life. Wow. And, and I love the fact that because I love when you say we're fanning. And right. we are. We're right. fanning each other's That's fires. That's right. That's right. You know, and we're encouraging each other to keep stepping because, you know, when you are called to the kingdom and you call to totally depend on God, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, right. uh, I didn't learn that in the corporate world. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> you didn't either. So this is totally out our comfort yeah. zones. Yeah. And so, and I'm going to say that. And so, you know, when people are giving of themselves so much, 100% to others, it takes money. Right. It really does. Mm -hmm. And I know people don't like to hear that, but it does take money. Right. And as I'm, you know, working on the other side, like the caring place, doing good work for people in this community, but it takes money. Right. And so what I want to say right here, and I want to encourage you out there, yes, Give a donation. Right. Go to Julie G's website and give a donation. And so I, I, I'm i going to uh, toss that back to you and let you do that request yourself. I know I went out there on your behalf and said <laughs> it anyway. But I just want you to uh, just tell them why they should really donate to what you're doing uh, here, not only in Cleveland, but um wherever God sends you to mm-hmm. to uh, um, demonstrate and to uh, tell what he has done in your life? Well, I think that the biggest thing that, that I really feel the calling and the mandate on my life um, and about the opportunity to go into other people's, uh, whether it's your church or whether it's a, a youth conference, whether it's a women's ministry, a church, or even like a home group, because I do that a lot too, just going to people's homes and having, because sometimes women want to talk about private things and, and those are really powerful times as well. And, uh, and I think one thing that I'm thankful because there's such a compassion and a real authentic um, uh, spirit that the Lord has given me because I, I do show and, and the God really just shows great compassion for your pain and for your and because people need to know that that they they matter right where they are and to be able to walk into the victory and so um, so that opportunity is always powerful but uh, also with donations and uh, just I think it's just seeding into someone else that's really um, maybe carrying even your story but they're seeding into other people and mentoring and raising them up and so um, so that's why I just want you to if you feel led to make a donation or just an opportunity I think that's even more powerful uh, appreciated on Julie G Ministries All right. Well, girlfriend, it has been absolutely wonderful having you on. Mm, Thank you so much. Today, you know, uh, you have a huge piece of my heart. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm just listening to you, and it. I, I'm going, oh, that sound like me. Oh, that sound like me. So, <laughs> yes. so you know, yes, it's absolutely. so wonderful just watching this tapestry that mm-hmm. God is putting together here and the divine connection that he is hooking us up. And as I mentor all right, right. Says, like DNA. That's right. Like faith, like destiny, <laughs> like, like, faith, like anointing. Like, des- like anointing coming together. Mm-hmm. And that's what God is doing here in Cleveland, Tennessee. So exciting. And he is bringing us from the 
the yeah. north, east, south, and west. Yes, yes. And here to Cleveland to do something is mm-hmm. about to happen. That's right. In Cleveland, Tennessee. I believe it. Okay? I believe it. And I thank you for being here today. I'm going to have you come back. Uh, our next guest that is coming okay. up, uh, and this just segments me right into that about how God is bringing people into right. this That's region. That's right for a great move mm, of God. Amen. And so we getting ready to uh, talk with Pastor Nantoka when we come back. Yay! Uh, yay! <laughs> and uh, then we'll have, after that, we'll have Julie join us back, and uh, then we'll share some more exciting news. Okay. So come back, y'all. I uh, Pastor Nantoka is up next.